everyone, Ariel Adams here with TheBlogTree.com. This is the Bell & Ross Vintage Original 126. Um, and I'll just get out of the way right now that I think it's hilarious that <laughs> the name is Vintage Original. It's a little redundant. Um, but there's actually kind of a reason for that because there was a watch in the past called the Bell & Ross Vintage 126. And what they kind of wanted to do with this one is say, okay, take that original design and let's pretend that this is a sort of predecessor to it. So it's like the original vintage 126, which actually came before the original vintage 126. Um, and I just kind of get a kick out of that. But this one is, you know, almost all Bell & Ross watches are military inspired, but this one is particularly slick in the execution. One of the things I want to show you is on the back here, um, the printing. It's a little bit hard to see. I have to see in the right light. There's two types of print. There's one that has the model name and it looks like a serial number on like some piece of military gear and then underneath it, it's actually really hard to tell in this light. You can see that there's additional information and it's the exact type of thing you used to see on actual watches that were issued by the military or other items like that where you had the stuff just sort of um, engraved in there very lightly and I thought that was a really really nice touch. The steel case is 41 millimeters wide and it's sandblasted in PVD and what that does is give it a really smooth texture. It's really really smooth and nice and has a cool look to it. It has this brown leather strap. It comes with some other straps. This brown could be replaced for uh, an all black strap a lighter brown strap which would also look really really nice or you could go crazy and put like a white strap on here. I bet a white strap would look cool with the black and the white. Yeah, you could do you could do some fun stuff with there. Um, you know all sorts of things that, that could be good. What they also did here if you look at the uh, sapphire crystal there it looks like it's acrylic. It is a sapphire crystal but they purposefully wanted to make it a little bit more retro looking so they sort of gave it that curvature. It's a handsome watch. It has an Etta 2894 chronograph movement in there and it has just a very legible attractive look. You know one of the things that I find is common in a lot of Bell & Ross watches is I'm calmed by looking at them. There's a sort of calming simplicity to a lot of their designs that makes it very easy to live with them. So a watch like this, you don't look at it and like, oh wow, that's an exciting watch. No, this is a more reserved timepiece, but it's smooth and it has enough of those artistic elements, design elements, functional elements to make it a very eye-pleasing design. And that's not something which is easy to do. This is the type of watch which you can put on again and again and again and you'll go back to it and you'll realize because it doesn't strain my eyes and it's easy to read. You see a lot of influence here from the BR1, especially with the hour indicators there and the hands. It kind of looks like a BR1 dial light. And that's purposeful because this is a look that, you know, Bell & Ross is, is quite famous for now. And, you know, they've done a very good job at sort of keeping that DNA momentum going. Um, if you don't want the big square watch look, then this is a great alternative. Um, Bell & Ross makes a good round watch. They make a damn nice round watch. Uh, and this one is a, you know, a little bit conservative. There's one that's called the Officer, which is in a polished case, which has some polished elements on the dial, which is intended to be like a little bit more fancy formal. Um, so you can, you can check those out as well. But it's a cool piece. Again, this is the Bell & Ross Original Vintage 126 Black. And the retail price for this is $3,900. $3, and you can see the full review on a blog to read.com. Thanks.